I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Hope against hope, when faith runs again, up against real life. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Hit our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults. And it's for young people, it's for old people like us too. Give today. Against hope, in hope, he believed that he should become the father of many nations, just as is written, the, so shall your seed be. Romans 4, 18. It's a Friday, and I like to take a look at what we did during the Bible class over the course of the week. And, and I want to take your attention to faith, when faith goes one on one with real life. And we all sort of think this, and I've done videos on, on my least favorite expression. There's a few of them, but my least favorite expression is, well, that doesn't happen in the real world, Pastor. So when faith runs up against the real world, what does it look like? Now, Abraham was an old guy. When God made a promise to him, he was already over 100 years old. And his wife also, she was old too. And she was barren. So if when God says, I'm going to make your a father of many nations, so shall your seed be as numerous as the stars, you can almost like pause for a second and like, Everything in Abraham's life, everything, everything about Abraham, everything that he saw, every move you made, every move he made, every breath he took, all contradicted the Lord's words that, that so shall your offspring be. Another story from the scriptures, another, another truth of the scriptures deals with Mary, who has an angel come to her and the angel says to her, um, Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Um, that you're gonna, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be the fire. Well, the angel says, you know, uh, hail. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be the mother of God, basically. Don't rip me up for paraphrasing. I think I just quoted Elizabeth and gave it to the angel. But um, the point is, the angel announced to her that she's gonna become pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And the, the child in her womb would be the son of God. And so she asked the question, like, I don't know a guy. I've had study. Moms talk to me. And I know how babies are born. And there's a thing that's missing in how babies are born. And that thing which is missing is I've not done anything with a guy. The angel says, the Holy Spirit's going to come upon you. The glory of the Lord's going to show the baby in your womb is the son of God. Um, your, your, your cousin Elizabeth is already pregnant. And, um, and then the great line, no words are impossible with God. So both of these incidents are the same. Romans makes reference to one of them, where you have to hope against hope. Like everything about your, your visuals say otherwise. And yet, the Lord's word says something. To Abraham, you'll be the father of many nations. To Mary, you're going to be the, the mother of God. To you and me, that we're going to be saved despite ourselves. If you look inside yourself and you see only sin, if, you're, if you sort of are sorry for your sins and you want to do better, and yet you try, try, try and fail, or you are honest with yourself and God that you're really not as sorry as you should be, and none of this is a permission to sin, all of it is a confession of sin. This is how bad I am. And here comes God saying, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you in the suffering and death of Jesus. I'm going to save you. For Christ was suffered for your sins, but he was raised for your justification. He was raised for your forgiveness. That word of God, all things are possible with the words of God. That word of God, no words are impossible with God. That word, 
to Abraham, you'll be the father of many nations. To Mary, you'll be the mother of God. To you and me, your sins are forgiven. Rests not on you and me. Rests on Jesus. Everything about salvation and faith and our life rests on the, the Son of God who loved us and gave his life for us. That's the truth. That's the faith of Jesus. So, hope against hope. If you look at your life and you're like, this is not going to work in real life. Well, whatever that is, know that the scriptures are filled with people who put their hope against everything else. And I'm, and oh, by the way, one last thing. I'm not telling you to believe like Mary and to believe like Abraham and to be like, believe like me. Like I just put another law on you on top of all the other laws you had. What I'm saying is faith receives God's word and says, your, your problem. You can look at God and say, look, you say who you believes in is baptized shall be saved. I look at myself and see only a sinner. You say um, that uh, believe in me, you'll have eternal life. And I look at my life and I'm like, I should go to hell. The problem is <laughs> you can look at God and you can just say, this is your problem. You have to keep your words. So you have to save me. I'm going to hope against all other hopes that you're going to come through for me because you said so. I'm going to trust your promise. It's on you, God, to save me. And you will find the greatest comfort in the world because he keeps his promises. Think about it. Have a blessed weekend. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Hope against hope. You are saved in Jesus Christ. And this has been another Higher Things video short.